welcome to bioglow if you like this channel please share and subscribe today we are going to discuss the bacteria escherichia coli myself muhammad jasile assistant professor of microbiology marcus arts and science college adavanad history the genus named after escherich who was the first to describe the colon bacillus under the name bacterium coli in commune in 1885 Presently one of the major group of E. coli is recognized human enteric flora which is further subdivided into biotypes and serotypes a few other species have been described in the genus but they are of little medical importance they include escherichia ferguzoni escherichia hermani and escherichia vulnaris unlike other coliforms E. coli is a parasite living only in the human or animal intestine. Voided in fecus, it remains viable in the environment only for a few days. Voiding means discharging. Detection of thermotolerant E. coli in drinking water therefore is taken as evidence of fecal contamination or we can say that detection of E. coli is known as fecal pollution or it is used as an indicator organism morphology it's a gram negative bacillus size 1 to 3 micrometer in length and 0.4 to 0.7 micrometer in breadth they are actively motile by peritrichous flagella non sporing and non capsulated but a few strains especially isolated from extra intestinal site are capsulated they possess fimbriae cultural characteristics escherichia coli are aerobe and facultatively anaerobe facultatively anaerobe means facultative means something optional that can use oxygen but also has anaerobic methods for energy production or it can survive in either environments grow at wide range of temperature of 10 to 40 degree celsius The optimum temperature is 37 degree Celsius. Grow on ordinary media like nutrient agar. Then what are the media and colony characteristics of Escherichia coli? On nutrient agar, they are forming large colonies with 2 to 3 mm in diameter, circular, low convex, opaque and grey white colonies. Opaque means not transparent. Then on blood agar, they are forming beta hemolytic colonies. This is the picture of colony morphology of E. coli on nutrient agar. And this is the picture of colony morphology on E. coli on blood agar. Then McCongi's agar, they are forming pink, flat or low convex colonies due to lactose fermenting. Lactose fermenting is one of the ability of uh, E. coli on McCongi's agar. Then biochemical reactions. sugar fermentation test e coli ferment glucose lactose sucrose and mantol with the production of acid and gas then imvic test indol test and methyl red test are positive and vogus prosker and citrate test are negative simply we can say that plus plus minus minus triple sugar ion test you can get acid formation then urea test negative h2s test negative then resistant or sensitive factors e coli can survive for several days in soil and water it killed at 60 degrees celsius within 30 minutes and the chlorination is one of the important mechanism to kills bacteria present in water then antigens present in e coli first one h antigen it is a flagella antigen mainly 75 h antigens are there then o antigen is also known as somatic antigen 173 o antigens are there and k antigen that is known as capsular antigen uh, this how 103 antigens f antigens is also known as fimbrial antigen then what are the toxins of e coli toxins produced by e coli are mainly three types first one enterotoxin second one hemolysin third one verotoxin enterotoxin e coli produces two different enterotoxins these are 
heat level toxin and heat stable toxin heat level toxin it is destroyed by heating and is known as heat level the mechanism of action heat level toxin has two subunits a and b it binds to the gm ganglioside receptors on epithelial cells of small intestine and subunit a is released gm ganglioside receptors means it's present on cell surfaces it have two hydrocarbon chains of ceramide moiety embedded in the plasma membrane and oligosaccharides subunit a then enters the cell and catalyzes nad dependent action of membrane bound adenylate cyclase leading to the conversion of atp to cyclic amp see then cyclic amp has anti absorptive action it inhibits absorption of sodium and chlorine and water in the cells i have secret reaction it increases sodium secretion and causes loss of chlorides and water the resultant water and electrolytes outflow into the lumen of the small intestine which results in profuse watery diarrhea profuse means overflowing then heat stable toxin heat stable toxin means heating does not destroy the toxin the mechanism of action it acts by activation of gonadotropin cyclase gonadotropin cyclase is a lyase enzyme that convert guanosine triphosphate to cyclic guanosine monophosphate and pyrophosphate it leads to the formation of cyclic guanosine monophosphate in epithelial cells which causes inhibition of co transport of sodium chloride into all that is it have anti absorptive action resulting in diarrhea then second one hemolysin toxin it causes lysis of red blood cells the name indicates that hemolysin that means causes lysis of red blood cells the strains isolated especially those from extra intestinal specimens are hemolytic then third toxin verocytotoxin it's like shigella toxin there are two types of verocytotoxin that is one vt1 and vt2 they are cytotoxic to both vero cells and hela cells they are enterotoxic in rabbit ileal loop test and its production is usually phage coded then pathogenicity of escherichia coli pathogenicity means causing different types of diseases e coli can cause four main types of infections first one urinary tract infection second diarrhea third one pyogenic infections fourth one septicemia pyogenic infections means pus related infections septicemia means blood poisoning by bacteria then urinary tract infections e coli accounts for large number of naturally acquired urinary tract infections serotypes commonly responsible are early og groups that is normally found in fecus they are usually causing ascending urinary tract infections while strains carrying k antigen are responsible for descending that means hematogenous urinary tract infection urinary tract infection is described as the presence of bacteria undergoing multiplication in urine within the urinary drainage system the presence of more than 10 raised to 5 per 1 ml of urine denotes significant bacteriuria bacteriuria means presence of bacteria in urine and indicates active urinary tract infection then contamination account for less than 10 raised to 4 organism if less than 10 raised to 4 organism is present indicate contamination low bacterial count significant in symptomatic patients and pyuria pyuria means presence of pus in urine by bacterial infection the counts are affected by high fluid intake and chemotherapy predisposing factors it's more common in females than males because of short void urethra infrequent voiding pregnancy and sexual intercourse it is less in males because of long urethra and bactericidal activity of 
prostate fluid other causes of urinary stagnation that may predispose to urinary tract infections stagnation means any obstruction in urinary tract or any origin inhibiting the flow and full release of urine the urinary stagnation causes are enlarged prostate urinary calculi urinary calculi means solid particles in the urinary system they may cause pain nausea vomiting hematuria possibly chill and fever etc and urinary tract congenital malformation of urinary tract and catheterization what are the causes of urinary stagnation enlarged prostate urinary calculi congenital malformation of urinary tract and catheterization then diarrhea and dysentery five different types of e coli are responsible for causing diarrhea and dysentery what are the five types of e coli first one enteropathogenic e coli second one enterotoxigenic e coli third one entero invasive e coli fourth one entero hemorrhagic e coli sixth one uh, fifth one entero aggregative e coli enteropathogenic e coli or epoch they are usually associated with diarrhea in infants and children and less often in adults they are responsible for outbreak as well as sporadic cases mechanism of action enteropathogenic e coli attached to mucosa of small intestine causing disruption of brush border of microvilli identification it can be identified by their adhesion to hep two cells and colony agglutination by polyvalent and monovalent epoch o and e zero second toxin second e coli enterotoxigenic e coli or attack enterotoxigenic e coli is endemic in tropics and causes diseases that range in severity from mild diarrhea to cholera like disease they also cause travelers diarrhea travelers diarrhea is a digestive tract disorder it causes loose stool and abdominal cramp they have colonization factor antigen which plays important role in adhesion mechanism of action adhesion of bacteria and production of heat labile and heat stable toxins then third one endro invasive e coli endro invasive e coli means they are invasive and cause diseases like shigellosis they are non motile and non lactose fermenters mechanism of action invasiveness the mechanism is determined by plasmid they codes for outer membrane antigen called virulence marker antigen demonstration demonstration of virotoxin in culture of fecus of dna probes for vt1 and vt2 genes their cytotoxic effects on vero cells and hela cells the demonstration of virotoxin is neutralizing antibody in sera then endro aggregative e coli they are named so because they appear aggregated in stacked brick formation they are associated with persistent diarrhea in developing countries their mechanism of action is mediated by endro aggregative heat stable enterotoxin 1 then pyogenic infections like wound infection peritonitis biliary tract infection main cause of meningitis in newborn what is known as peritonitis peritonitis means inflammation of peritoneum pyogenic infection means pus produced infection septicemia e coli is a common cause of septicemia in many hospitals usually occurs in debilitated patients and associated with high mortality clinically it is manifested as fever hypotension and disseminated intravascular coagulation disseminated intravascular coagulation means a condition affecting the bloods and ability to clot and stop bleeding laboratory diagnosis first one urinary tract infection specimen is taken as urine collection clean midstream urine sample is ideal for culture it should be collected after local cleaning in a wide mouthed sterile dry leak proof container 
it can be collected by catheterization in infants it can be aspirated by suprapubic puncture from bladder with syringe and needle transport urine should reach the laboratory within one hour of collection if delay is unavoidable sample should be refrigerated at 4 degrees celsius if more delay is expected 0.1 gram per 10 ml of boric acid powder is added to preserve the specimen processing of specimen first one gross examination that means looking the appearance of urine turbid appearance may suggest bacterial infection ph acidic ph indicates e coli infection Microscopic examination, uh, wet preparation. Wet preparation is examined for presence of bacteria, pus cells, red blood cells, crystal, cast and epithelial cells. Presence of three pus cells per high power field suggests infection. On gram staining, sediment after centrifuging, urine is used for preparation of smear. It shows presence of gram negative acidity. Culture. In quantitative cultures, urine shows biphasic distribution of colonies. Most specimens shows 10,000 bacteria per ml or more than 10 raised to 5 bacteria per ml. According to Kass concept, presence of 10 raised to 5 bacteria per ml of urine indicates active urinary tract infection. Presence of 10 raised to 5 bacteria per ml of urine indicates active urinary tract infection this is called significant bacteriuria counts of 10,000 bacteria or less per ml are due to the collection of contamination during voiding quantitative estimation can be done by power plate technique for routine diagnostic work semi quantitative standard loop technique is used it is always used technique measured quantity of urine is inoculated with loop on blood agar and macongi agar what is known as semi quantitative standard loop technique measured quantity of urine is inoculated with loop on blood agar and macongi agar blood agar is more helpful for the quantitative measurements of bacteriuria after overnight incubation at 37 degrees celsius colonies are observed and counted other semi quantitative techniques are filter paper strip technique dip spoon technique and deep slide technique colony blood agar we can get large circular gray white opaque beta immunity colonies on macongi agar they are forming lactose fermenting flat colonies that is pink colored colonies what are the biochemical reactions lactose fermenting glucose fermenting mantle fermenting does not ferment sucrose then indole test positive methyl red positive August prosker and citrate test are negative TSA is acid forming and urease and H2S test are negative. Antibiotic sensitivity testing. It's always done by Kirby Boyer discrefusion method. Isolate tested using nitrofurantoin, nalidisic acid, ambicillin, gendamicin, amicacin, amoxiclav, quinolone, cotrimoxazole, and first, second, and third generation of cephalosporin, etc. These are the antibiotics used for the uh, testing of Kirby Boyer disc diffusion method. Then extended spectrum beta lactamase producing strains are known. Screening test. When culture facilities are not available, some screening tests are used for the detection of bacteriuria, but they are not reliable as culture. What are the screening tests? Grease nitrite test. It is based on absence of nitrate in normal urine. Presence of nitrate, which is detected by a simple test, indicates existence of nitrite reducing bacteria in urine. Second one, catalase test. The presence of catalase is observed by frothing on addition of hydrogen peroxide. Frothing is indicative of bacteriuria. Triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride test. It shows pink red precipitation in reagent caused by respiratory activity of growing bacteria. Then microscopy of urine. The presence of bacteria is demonstrated in gram stained films of urine. Then glucose paper test. It is based on the utilization of the minute amount of glucose present in normal urine by bacteria causing infection. 
डिप स्लाइड कल्चर टेस्ट अगर कोटेड स्लाइड्स आर एक्सपोज्ड टू स्ट्रीम ऑफ यूरिन ड्यूरिंग वॉइडिंग इंक्यूबेट एंड ग्रोथ एस्टिमेटेड बाय डिफरेंट कॉलोनी काउंट मेथड्स लोकलाइजेशन ऑफ यूरिनरी ट्रैक्ट इंफेक्शन एंटीबॉडी कोटेड बैक्टीरिया टेस्ट इज यूज्ड फॉर लोकलाइजेशन ऑफ साइट दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन अजम्पशंस दैट बैक्टीरिया कोटेड विद स्पेसिफिक एंटीबॉडीज आर प्रेजेंट इन यूरिन व्हेन किडनीज आर अफेक्टेड This makes the detection possible by immunofluorescence using fluorescent tagged anti-human globulin or by staphylococcal coagulation. Diarrhea. What is the specimen to be adopted for testing diarrhea? Fecal or rectal swab. Collection. Stool is collected in bed pan and portion of it containing mucus flakes is transferred to transport media. Swab from ulcer is collected by sigmoidoscopic examination. Transport of specimen. Specimen is transported in transport medium to microbiology laboratory. Processing of specimen. Culture. Specimen is inoculated on blood agar and meconchi agar. On blood agar, they forming large two to three millimeter in diameter circular log convex opaque grey white colonies forming beta hemolytic property. On meconchi agar. they are forming pink flat colonies that is due to lactose fermentation what are the biochemical reactions lactose fermenting glucose fermenting mannitol fermenting sucrose negative indole and methyl red test are positive vagus positive and citrate test are negative then tsa is acid forming urease and hgs test are negative epa colonies are emulsified in saline and tested by polyvalent and monovalent epoc o and zero for identification in serological test pyogenic infections and septicemia can be identified by pus or swab from wound in pyogenic infection is processed like the previous methods blood in septicemia is processed for blood culture in a routine way treatment the treatment of e coli infection should always be guided by antibiotic sensitivity testing because of problem of multiple drug resistance in e coli and esbn producing strains the drugs to be selected for uh, the method uh, by using the method of antibiotic sensitivity testing by using kirby boyer method those antibiotics are previously already right discussed in the antibiotic treatment method Thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe